Hello everyone, my name is Archangel and today we're going to talk about a game called Elona. Elona is a game that you can find on the Play Store, not very sure about the App Store, and was first developed for PC. That's what we keep it as says. Anyways, this game is still under testing, open beta, I don't know exactly how to call it. You cannot leave comments on the... So the first thing that I would like to say about Elona is that the graphics and sounds are very good. I loved it. And it's a uh, pixel art, but it has this atmosphere, I will say, that makes it look beautiful. Speaking about the battle mechanics, I really like that it's not automatic. Even though the enemies will start attacking after you first attack them, I found this to be good because it's going to give you time to think about what to do if you happen to find yourself surrounded. One cool feature that I found on this, on this game is that you can actually compare one item to another. For example, weapons and armor, I think it's useful and it saves a lot of time. Uh, I think it's the first time that I see that on a game. I don't play too many RPGs, but I think it's pretty cool. One thing that I didn't like a lot about this game was the menus. And Yes, sometimes menus can be overwhelming, but in this case, for example, there are some things. For example, some items will have, in my opinion, um, a lot of description, sometimes unnecessary. And also, there's uh, when you can add extra points to one ability, you gain the point, but you have to, by hand, go to the... Um, place where you can see all your abilities and you have to manually upgrade them which for me is unnecessary because you cannot transfer as far as I know you cannot transfer those points to something else it's a specific but anyway I found that to be uh, unnecessary and sometimes it makes you think okay but why do I have to do this and other thing that I didn't like is the amount of things that you don't know exactly why they are there for. For example, you have the cell phone that inside has many things. You have also different rewards, um, like uh, practice menus, something like that. Uh, there are many things. Also, you have your profile, which doesn't give you a lot of information. Because you have their normal profile where you can see yourself and your friends and I think there should be all the information you need. But it's not the case. I, I'm really, I found myself lost there because there are a lot of things and I have like a week or so playing this game. But anyway, I found that annoying even though sometimes I like description, sometimes it's a lot. And the menus also should be, in my opinion, simplified to make it easier for people to understand the game and actually enjoy it. I think the menu should be the easiest part of the game because the fun is in you playing, fighting, etc. When you start the game, you design your character and you can choose from different classes and races. And I think that was really good that they, for example, warn you that the character that you have made is actually quick, with hap which happened to me, but I proceed, even though they tell me so. Uh, but I think that was really good because, I don't know, it's creative and it's not like everybody is um, equally strong. And that's it. <laughs> basically lastly I would like to talk about my experience of it all and I have to say that I, that I started um, it was pretty difficult to start because there was a lot of training and I love to understand and it was difficult because my character was weak to begin with and they advised me at the beginning you know told me that it was weak and I could change it 
and I did it because I really like the character and I proceeded that way and I think that uh, because of that it's been a little bit difficult for me I think uh, if you choose a leave a different um, race you can have a better experience of the game and also um, I want to say that I found images of the original PC game and they actually look very different I was surprised and I think one of the things that are going to make this game um, successful for Android is that it looks pretty cool I think they actually made it very well for people to navigate this game the old one was the old one had a great story and now i think with good graphics and great story it's going to be a great game and i really recommend it even though it's not officially launched but you can play it and have fun so um i'm going to end this video here please if you like it leave a like and a comment and i see you in the next video bye